Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide a whole number by a decimal. So let's jump into our two examples here. And for number one, we have 315 divided by 9 tenths. So let's set this up. 315 is our dividend. It's the number that's being split or divided up, and it goes underneath the division bar. And we're dividing by 9 tenths. So that goes on the outside, that's our divisor. So when it comes to division problems that involve decimals, we have that problem set up, but we need to ask ourselves a very important question before we can go through the division process. And it's at the top of your screen. Is the divisor a whole number? And in this case, the divisor, the outside number, 9 tenths, is not a whole number. So we cannot start and go through the division process yet. We need to make that a whole number. And we do that by multiplying by a power of 10. And for this particular problem, we need to push that 9 one spot or one place value to the left so it's 9 ones or 9. And we can do that. Let's shift the decimal once to the right and therefore push that 9 over to the ones place, okay? And this is the same thing. We are multiplying that 9 tenths by 10 in order to get 9 wholes. So we have a whole divisor now, but whatever we do to the outside, we have to do to the inside in order to keep this problem balanced and not change the value of the overall problem. So we need to multiply the inside number by 10 as well. So the decimal comes at the end of any whole number. So let's push each digit to the left once by moving the decimal once to the right. And we can fill this gap with a zero. So now we can rewrite the problem without those arrows underneath and make it a little more neat and easier to work with. So we have nine on the outside, the divisor, and we have 3,150 as our dividend. And the uh, decimal is at the end here, the end of a whole number. So now we're ready to go through the division process. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. So we have three divided by nine, and we can't pull any whole groups of nine out of three, so we need to use the 31. So how many whole groups of nine out of 31? Well, three nines gets us to 27, and that's as close as we can get. So three times nine, 27. We subtract, remember to borrow, we have to borrow here. So 11 minus seven is four, and two minus two is zero, so we get a difference of four. Now let's bring down our 5. So now we have 45 divided by 9. How many whole groups of 9 out of 45? Well, 5. 5 times 9 is 45. Subtract, we get 0. That 0 does not mean we are done with the problem. We need to go all the way over to the 1's place, and we still have a 0 to bring down. So we need something here. So we are at the bring down step. And let's repeat, so divide, zero divided by nine. So how many whole groups of nine out of zero? Well, zero, we can't do that. So zero times nine is zero. Subtract, we get a nice clean cut zero there and an answer of 350. So on to number two, where we have 87 divided by two hundredths. Now this one's going to be a little bit different, same process and everything, but you'll see what I mean here in a second. So the question we need to ask ourselves, is the divisor a whole number? We have two hundredths. No, so we need to multiply by a power of 10 in order to make it a whole number. So let's see, if we shift each digit to the left once, and we can do that by shifting this decimal to the right, would we have a whole number? No, so we need to move it again. So we need to move the decimal twice here to get a whole two and push that to two spots to the left to the ones place. So one time is times 10 times 10. So we multiplied it by 100, 10 times 10. So we need to multiply 87 by 100 or move the decimal twice to the right in order to push the eight and seven to the correct uh, place values. So one, Two. Remember, the decimal comes at the end of a whole number. So I moved it twice to the right, and we get 8,700. So let's rewrite our problem with our whole divisor of 2. 
and we have 8,700 here, decimals at the end of a whole number. Um, and now that we have a whole divisor, we are ready to go through our process. So eight divided by two is four. Four times two is eight. Subtract, we get zero. Bring down the seven. Seven divided by two, so how many whole groups of two out of seven? Well, three, that gets us to six. Three times two is six. Subtract, we get one. Bring down the zero. 10 divided by 2, so how many whole groups of 2 out of 10? 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Subtract, we get 0, but we are not done. We need to go all the way over. So let's bring our 0 down here. And we have 0 divided by 2, so how many whole groups of 2 out of 0? Well, 0. We can't do that, so 0 there. 0 times 2 is 0. Running out of room, 0 minus 0 is 0. Squeeze it in that corner there. So we are all done. We get to a clean cut 0 and an answer of 4,000. I'll put a comma that is not a decimal. 4,350. So there you have it. There's how you divide a whole number by a decimal. We always need to ask ourselves, is the divisor a whole number when we see decimals within a division problem? If it's not a whole number, we need to multiply it by a power of 10 in order to make it a whole number. Whatever you do to the divisor, the outside number, you need to make sure you do to the dividend, the inside number, and then go through your division process and that will put you on the path to getting the correct answer. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.